All right, I'm going to do a little farm build here on uh, American farmlands. Going to partially be time lapse and a little commentary. So let me know what you guys think and leave your comments below. So one of the things I like to do when I'm building a farm, placing buildings, um, as soon as I set it, I like to get down and walk and just make sure I don't have any big lips or anything that I can't really fix because, I mean, if you're using PC, you can just add as much money as you want. You can pull these buildings and reset them as many times as you want. But um, there's nothing worse than setting down dozens of buildings on a huge farm. And then come to find out you have these pads like this one that stick out. If you use the softening tool around here, a lot of times you can undercut them. And it really becomes a pain getting in and out. And as far as landscaping around it, it's just not going to happen. Um, all right, we'll get back into the time lapse and... Keep going.
So one thing I do like to do is when I plant trees, I like to put a few bushes around the bottom. Um, can't really do like tall grass. And, you know, if, if the, my farm builds or anything like my house, chances are around my trees are not weed whacked as often as they should. So this is kind of imitating what it would look like if you were to just mow with a riding mower and not weed whacking. Now, <clears throat> when you're adding bushes around certain objects, uh, you want to switch it up a little bit, not to have them all uniform. Make them a little patchy. Use different types of bushes. Um, I've seen it in my comments, and it really does make it, you know, look a little more natural. But yeah, we're going to keep going and... Didn't really have any plans when I started this, just really start with the end of a driveway and start putting up buildings, and I guess this is going to be, you know, a medium to small, uh, maybe a little bit older dairy farm. But who knows, not even sure where I'm going to put the house yet, so... I never really have much of a plan when I go into these things, so um, I don't know. We'll see where it goes. Anybody that's ever used the build mode in FS knows that normally you don't want to put trees in until last. 
when you're trying to paint ground or do trees or anything like that, um, you'll just be going along. Next thing you know, you got a giant square concrete patch, you know, out in the middle of your cow pasture or something. But the only reason I like to start laying trees ahead of time is to just kind of give me a feel of what this farm's going to look like, you know, when you come out of this building, what's it going to look like? When you come out of this building, what are you going to see? It's just more of a feel thing for me. But just try, trying to leave a few tips in here for the for the new guys and gals and, you know, anybody just looking for a few extra tips or ideas. So let's get on with the time lapse. Sometimes I'll lay stuff down and really look around and realize, oh, crap, you know. I don't want to have to go all the way around this building to get into this barn. You know, one of my main focuses is to really have flow, traffic flow through here. Because um, really, I, I mean, I don't do a lot of gameplay on my farm builds after I'm done. But I like to be able to. Um My son likes to play uh, a lot of times on my farm builds. You know, after I'm done, I just let him kind of do his thing. And, I mean, he's young. He kind of does whatever he wants and messes around and has a good time. And that's what this is all about. So, all right, let's keep her going. One trick I like to use is, say you're using these thin trees here. Just spin them a little bit and keep hitting it. Just makes them come in thicker. Um, it works with you know, service bear. It doesn't work with everything. Anything with a larger trunk, you know, it's really not going to work well with you know and it really I mean to me that looks more like a realistic thick bushy tree than 
you know, just setting one down. And same with these, you know. I mean, anybody that's been on a farm knows that this is kind of the way trees grow, all bushy and out of sorts. And same with driveways. They don't have to be all perfectly even. You know, you set up your square placement and, you know, have to be super... cautious about not getting outside the lines no farm is ever going to actually look like that so just my two cents i'm going to keep going here
It'll be fine by dusk, but I'm telling you, baby. These things eat at your bones and drive your young mind crazy. But when you place your head between my collar and jaw, I don't know much, but there's no way at it all. I'm damned if I do and I'm damned if I don't Cause if I say I miss you, I know that you won't But I miss you in the mornings when I see the sun Something in the orange tells me we're not done Just a man to me, or all I am, where the hell am I supposed to go? Poison myself again, something in the orange tells me you're never coming. things around grass trees and do how I just hate you please turn those headlights around please turn those headlights around I always have to double check these gates because I always put them in backwards. So, fix that real quick. But, um, you know, I think the main thing, you know, is to take your time. Don't worry about getting anything perfect. And just have fun with it. I mean, you can get lost putting in 
decorations. It's it's crazy. Um, I think I have every decoration pack that they that they make, and if I remember right, it is for console and. I'm having a heck of a time getting this in. Um, all the decoration packs uh, I got right off the mod hub. And as far as I remember, they are completely cross-play, so they're on console as well. There we go. All right. I'm not a big fence guy. It kind of depends on what I'm doing. But this application, you know, I think I think they fit pretty well with with what we're doing. I think it really is the fine details that you can put on a map that, you know, really makes them stand out. If, if you build your own farm, and like I said, you can just go nuts with the details, spend hours just putting decorations in and whatnot, you'll enjoy it that much more. If you're anything like me and you're looking for a map, you know, I'm always looking for new American maps normally, but any map that has a ton of detail is a map that I'm going to want to play on. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that can build a farm with a lot more details than this. Um, I mean, I could spend a lot more time adding this and that and the other thing, but, you know, really we got, we got our cow barn. I think this only holds 75, I believe. You know, this is a large implement shed. Could even hold, you know, a couple of tractors if we wanted to. Any important equipment can get locked up in here. There is a header rack in the back. I wish I could change the uh, color of the beams in here. I'm not crazy about the red, but it is what it is. But yeah, not crazy about fences too much, but I think out at the road front's not a big deal. I just don't care for them when they're around every single every single building but we can do a little flyover and that's probably going to be it for for this little farm build really didn't take too long 